Today I fucked up by letting family back into my life, unaware that I had won the lottery years prior. So backstory. I, 36M, am the youngest of five children, boy girl boy girl boy, and we grew up in absolute poverty. Mom loved having kids but she didn't work and dad didn't make enough to support everyone. Poor enough that I remember as an 11 or 12 year old receiving a single plastic slinky and being absolutely thrilled I got anything. Growing up with that kind of family was rough. Parents got divorced and dad lived locally but didn't really do much to try to be a dad. Just support financially when legally necessary, and he let it slip once to me that he never wanted any kids. He just loved my mom and she wanted kids so he went along with it. Obviously with this kind of dynamic and the absolute lack of resources, home life wasn't great prior to the divorce. I was helping fix drywall at like 5 years old because we could only afford to live in crummy run-down houses. I remember stripping paint with a steamer and putty knife at about 6 or 7 and only learned recently that the house had lead paint. Oldest siblings did even more housework and probably inhaled a bunch of lead dust and toxic substances. Couple that with the emotional abuse of our parents and they didn't grow up to be good people. My oldest brother had anger issues and got kicked out of college for fighting people. He also got arrested a few times for stuff involving theft or violence. Oldest sister struggled with substance abuse, got arrested a few times, ended up involuntarily committed for 72 hours once. She's doing a lot better nowadays but still an unpleasant person. Next brother went on to just be an employee at a large chain store where I think he might be a manager now. All three still live in the impoverished town we grew up in. My next sister and I are close enough in age that we're very similar. Both joined the military to escape the poverty trap of our hometown. I joined the army and she went navy, even at about the same time. While in the service, we both pieced together a bunch of things about our siblings and parents that made everything clear. It was like we both had half of a connect the dots puzzle that made no sense, and when put together the outcome was a big sign that said, everyone in this family is awful. She confronted them about it after her contract ended and got kind of dragged into the drama all over again. She moved to a city near the hometown, about one hour away, and started working there right away. I cut everyone else out of my life. I hadn't spoken to most of them in years, and the others are cursory and obligatory in nature. After my contract ended I started college using the GI Bill which not only paid for my tuition, but also paid a monthly housing stipend so I can focus on school. My family fucking hated that I was basically getting free school to them. Couldn't explain that it meant giving up four years of my life for active duty and I have to drill every month in the reserves, and part of my body is permanently wrecked. To them it is an unfair advantage. While in school, I had a habit of buying a lottery ticket every month when the GI Bill hit my account. It was borderline superstitious as I never had any notion of winning because I remember a statistic once that said men in California have a higher chance at actually being Brad Pitt than winning the lottery. My final semester I won. I didn't win fuck you money by any means. I won the type of money where you could pay cash for a three-bedroom, two-bath house with 0.36 acres in a county where housing prices were below the national average and then have nothing left. Yes it's specific because that's what I did. I never told any family, including my cool older sister because as much as I love her she would almost be obligated to tell the rest of them. The purchase of that home happened when I was 25, so 11 years ago. Since then I got married and had a kid and have an all-around nice and pleasant life. About a year ago, oldest sister was going to be near where I lived, several time zones away from family, for work and she wanted to visit me so she could meet my daughter and catch up. Against better judgment, I agreed because my wife wanted to know more about my family who she had never met. So sister was staying with us for three days before she had to go do her work stuff and spent the whole time just reminiscing and catching up. At one point during dinner on the second night she asked about what my mortgage must be like, since she paid $900 in rent for something much smaller and with no yard. My wife scoffed briefly, unaware that my family didn't know of my financial windfall. Sister, though a troubled individual, is no dummy and picked up on that. Her tone shifted from casual to serious and asked, what does that mean? I am not great at lying, improv, or doing anything without excess planning. I sat stupefied while trying to figure out what to say before my wife said, well he used his winnings to just buy the house. 
thus setting off the chain reaction of questions that culminated with sister finding out I made six digits for free while attending college for free, and getting rent paid while not doing any fucking work. She was absolutely livid and left for a hotel. About two hours later the phone calls began from every member of my family accusing me of cutting them off so I wouldn't have to share this gift from God. The sister I got along with even got angry at me for keeping it a secret, but she understood that it would have put her in a bad position of lying to family. My phone, email, and wife's phone began blowing up for the next week while family tried to get money from me not understanding that there wasn't any left. They kept saying that they're about to file for bankruptcy because of debt and I could save the family but I'm just being selfish. After a week, lawyers got involved because my family started threatening to sue me for damages for everything wrong in our family, they eventually did file. Every single thing that could even remotely justify going to small claims court or a full lawsuit was brought up. They even added up an estimated amount of gas money I borrowed since starting to drive at 16 with verbal agreements to pay you back later, taking into account inflation and current gas prices. Everything together they asked for would have just been short of buying another house in cash. I'm able to post this now because I was able to get about 90% of it dropped for being absolutely ridiculous, and showing that a lot of their claims occurred during a time when I had no contact with them. Thank you phone and email records. The remaining 10% of what they wanted was stuff that happened when I was 17 or 18, like denting one of their cars or injuring them when I threw an empty beer bottle during a fight and leaving a permanent scar where the glass cut them. After lawyer and court fees plus paying damages, I lost a bit more than $10,000 to family. The stress from the legal battle affected me at work and when it got out I was being sued by family after winning a lottery. All my co-workers began asking for help financially. It got bad enough people coming to my home at night, that I had to request a transfer to a different branch where nobody knew me. Now I'm having to sell the home I bought, where my daughter was growing up in, and move to a more expensive city where the other branch is. All because I let my family back into my life. And hash x200b. Too long did not read. Grew up poor, family sucked, joined military to escape poverty, found out family sucked even more than previously thought, went to college, basically won a house in the lottery, never told family, a decade later family found out, they sued me for every single thing they thought they could, I lost $10,000 due to fees, had to leave my job and move to a bigger city, all because my family sucks. Moral of the story, don't let family back in. Since your wife wanted to know more about your family was this sufficient for her. Never ever speak to a single member of your family again. Here's to a better life miles away from those scumbags. Also, happy Easter. WTH so when your co-workers found out what awful shit happened to you they began doing the same? Geez, this was awful to read. The statute of limitations is 2-3 years on almost everything. Did you have a lawyer tell you to settle? How in the world were they able to get a judge to rule in their favor? What a horrible group of people. So why didn't you tell your wife not to say anything so that would not have gotten out? What is the relationship with your wife now? Is the family including your sister completely and permanently cut off now? Man. What a roller coaster. I have a Reddit thread saved on here which gives instructions on how to safely win the lotto and if I ever win, family will never know. I'm more annoyed for you to be honest. What a damn shame. Having to get rid of your house simply because of a chain reaction of your sister being a brat and leaking information. This is why I have no contact with my sister or parents. They only contact me for money or whatever. My brothers and I are all still in contact and share the opinion that our family are full of leeches. Tifu having fun Easter morning. So the fuck up happened just 30 minutes ago. It's Easter Sunday and my girlfriend stayed over. So much like how Jesus rose on Easter, I did too this morning for a little fun time. I used a condom and we had our fun. Then I went to throw the used condom on my nightstand before throwing it out. Well I guess I missed because a few moments later we heard the sound of my yellow lab licking something. I immediately yelled no but alas it was gone. My one-year-old lab ate my used condom. Absolutely disgusting. My cousin is my vet so I texted him for advice. Even he was grossed out. And my girlfriend. Well when looked at me and said well now your babies are in your dog. I died a little inside. So now we're off to get hydrogen peroxide to try and make her throw up the condom. Hopefully she's pukes it up now before we all go to meet my girlfriend's parents tonight. Wish me luck. TLR lab pup ate my used condom. Now I have to make her puke it up. Update. 
Hydrogen peroxide worked its out and she's doing fine. Also everyone who's disgusted yay it's not the most hygienic to put a used condom on a surface but like FFS it's not like this as some random girl I picked up in a back alley it's my girlfriend. And my dogs stay in my room. I love them more than life itself so yay I fucked up with allowing her to get the condom. That's why it's in the fuck up subreddit. Also dog tax. Are we just going to casually ignore this motherfucker throws a used balloon on his nightstand until he can deal with it? Like where you put your phone and glasses and glass of water. Fuck. Man. There was a today I fucked up where another condom eater dog was walked by religious mum and son was almost caught having premarital sex when the dog pooped it. You're going to meet your dog's parents tonight? I. Wow hope the dog's okay. Op. You're a dirty little hamster for one. Having sex with your dog in the room and two. Setting a dirty condom on your nightstand. This shit happens as a side joke in the worst of the worst comedy movies. I feel like every post on this sub is written by the exact same person. The writing is like 100% the same little jokes and innuendos randomly inserted here and there. Please post pictures if the dog gives birth. Tifu by saying I was an atheist in a Christian school. This all happened during lunch I was talking to my friend. Let's call him Charles. He asked me why first don't believe in God and I said, trying not to offend him, oh I just think we were brought up differently you know, he nods and drops it. Another kid named David overheard my conversation with Charles and started yelling at me to repent and stuff I tried to leave but he kept putting his arms out to stop me. I let him do so and then went to class. When I got to class one saw him and some other kids praying over my desk. I went to sit down and they all tried putting their hands on me and I said, I do not feel comfortable with you touching me please do not, most of them left but David kept trying to put his hands on me. I said to stop but he didn't, I yelled at him to leave me alone, then he went to his desk and sat down. Too long did not read. A kid yelled at me for not being Christian. That kid is out of line. No one should touch you for any reason if you ask them not to. I didn't go to a Christian school but I went to middle school in the rural-ish, suburban Midwest. It got out that I was an atheist and the whole lunch table spent the entire semester trying to convert me and yell at me. I spent a lot of time in middle school eating lunch in the bathroom. Ironically, the only kid that didn't care and was nice to me was a pastor's son. Cool kid. I'm going to his wedding soon. Tell me you don't meet the Reddit age requirements without telling me you don't meet the Reddit age requirements. He'll get over it eventually. It's like when church groups come to my door. I tell them that I am an atheist and if they don't leave I'll call the police on them for trespassing. If he keeps it up, talk to an adult who understands. The world would be a much better place if we all gave up the notion of imaginary sky people. I did 16 years of Christian schooling growing up. JK University. I feel for you friend. I used to get dragged on youth group retreats every September. Without fail, on the first night, the youth pastor would make us sing praise and worship songs to a horribly out-of-tune acoustic guitar before pulling out a wash basin and making us all literally wash each other's feet. I'd shrivel into myself out of cringe every single time. I'm Christian. Please do not assume all Christians are like this. This is not the way of leading someone to God. I don't know who taught them this is how it works, but whoever told them this is how you do it is dead wrong. He's brainwashed, you, however, are not. You didn't fuck up. You kept it real. Today I fucked up by eating a six-year-old burger. I know this sounds crazy but hear me out. I have an older brother who lives a few hours away and comes down sometimes for holidays. He's always been the experimental type, like as a kid he would bury paper or leave dirty sponges out in our backyard and come back and check on them months later to see what happened. Well this weekend he was staying with us back home and I went into his room because I could smell food and was hungry as. I see a paper bag and pull out a beef burger with beef, lettuce and cheese. I didn't think anything of it and my brother wasn't home so I thought, okay, he's brought extra, and bit into it. Worst mistake ever. It was freaking slimy, I kid you not. And tasted horrendous almost like really strong fish? I spat it out quick smart and threw up as soon as I got to the toilet. Turns out the delicious food I was smelling was actually the fresh takeout my brother had eaten before he left. He comes home an hour later and I ask him why tf that burger tasted so horrendous and he goes, bro, that burger was 6 years old. I was doing an experiment to see how artificial burgers are, when I tell you I ran back to the toilet and an hour later got the runs. Please guys always check what you eat and find out when it was bought. Your stomach can frick you up. Too long did not read. 
I ate my brother's six-year-old experimental burger that tasted absolutely disgusting and may have given me food poisoning. Edit. Spelling errors. Fuck. He should have labeled it or something. I mean you're both effing up here. He should label his experiments, especially if they're in a shared home. But you should have asked before going into his room and eating his food. A quick text would have saved you from the runs. Ah 2016, the burger vintage was good that year. Are you Homer Simpson? Deserved who the F goes into people's rooms and just eats W. E. Especially knowing your brother experiments. I bet you'll buy your food from now on. Family's never gonna hear the end of this. This is how we get another global killer. Looking forward to seeing how this plays out haha. This is why I can never leave a single sods can unattended at a get-together, cause people like you exist. Please, don't eat random food lying around.